Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So you may remember just about six months ago, I went to my mom's house and completely reorganized her crazy extreme hoarder makeup room. Let's take a quick little trip down memory lane. All right, so here we are in the clutter room, as I like to call it, my she cave. Do you consider yourself a hoarder? No. What do you <laughs> consider yourself? Someone that likes things. <laughs> a collector. As we were decluttering, we found this mom. Oh my gosh, you guys, she's trying to justify keeping this. <laughs> hold on, hold the phone. <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, five, six of the same mascara in a box. Is that my favorite mascara or what? Ready, one, two, Three. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. <gasps> now, that entire process took almost an entire month. That was the most I've ever worked on a video, on an organization project. Even though my mom and I are very close, I don't actually go to her house very often because let's just say it's not very um, child friendly. So she comes to my house almost exclusively. So a couple weeks ago, I came over with Carter and I wanted to pop into the room to see how it was going and she's like, oh, oh no, no, no. We don't, we don't wanna go in there. Let's just uh, go over here. Mom, why won't you let me in that room? I wanna see that room. The look on her face told me all I needed to know. So basically, since she wouldn't even let me go in the room, yet alone film in the room, I decided to take matters into my own hands and ambush her, lovingly ambush her. So I told her that I'm coming over with Carter and I'm vlogging today, so to be camera ready, because she would kill me if I came over to film and she was not looking dolled up. So at least I gave her you know, somewhat of a heads up, barge right in there, go into the room, and see what's happening because it has been about six months. And one thing I wanna say, with any organization project, you don't just set it and forget it. You have to go in, reevaluate what's working, what's not working, and rearrange things, fix things up. So I am prepared whatever state this room is in. Am I scared? Absolutely. Am I prepared? Probably not, but I am caffeinated. We are approaching the premises. Hello. How are you? Good. Come on in. Where's my baby? No Carter today. What? We're ambushing you. No. Oh my God. Do you know why I'm ambushing you? No. Why are you ambushing me? We're coming in to see what's happening in your room. Oh God. Okay. Here we are. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait. It's not that bad. What the heck? It's not that bad. What? I was expecting it to be like three feet tall with junk again. Okay, wait, 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 let's look. Cute little twinkle lights, I like that addition. Okay, looking a little cluttered over here. This is a bit of a problem, we need to organize. Okay, this is wow, we need to do some work here. But I have to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed. Because it was so horrific to begin with, and you helped me do such an incredible job, I take pride in this room. So can you tell me in this room what is working and what's not working? I don't have room to expand. <laughs> <laughs> to expand your collection. <laughs> what would you say in this room is working? Like how about those bin system back there? I love the bin system because I could stuff. Oh, okay, but is that what we want to be doing? Stuffing? Well, I'm able to stuff and it still looks good. Okay, so let's just review what we need to update. We need to find a situation for your shoes, declutter, reorganize the shoes. We need a system here for your vitamins and I have an idea. I have a vision for this. So we need to go through 
this area, redo, declutter. You know, I don't know what to do with shoes. I have so many shoes, it's... Yeah, they're spilling over yeah, over here. And here. So maybe we'll do a little shoe declutter session. Okay, so I've just been informed these are just her walking shoes. Where are the rest of your shoes? Upstairs. Now why are the walking shoes downstairs? Because I walked downstairs. <laughs> what do you think? There's about 50 or so pairs of walking shoes here. What do you think is a reasonable amount? A hundred. Um, okay, I only have two feet. <laughs> But there are 365 days a year. We don't want to be repeating our walking <laughs> shoes. What would the neighbors think? Well, the funny thing is, I've fallen in love with these ugly, you oh, know, wow. non-Reebok, non-ASOS, non-Bob. So we were walking in Ireland and my feet were killing me and my sister was just popping along. And I'm like, what shoes do you have on? She goes, oh. Amazon. Her husband picked them out and as soon as I got home I bought them and it's like walking on a cloud. Okay, need those. Instead of decluttering this is becoming an infomercial <laughs> for shoes. Oh my gosh. Wow, I don't think they're ugly. They are oh, so, I know. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is fun. Oh. Do they have in different colors? Yes. Do you have other colors? No. Oh, what restraint. So let's just set aside ones that you definitely can part with. Now these. Oh, they, mom, these are so tacky. I know, I know. Okay. Oh, these are the ones we have matching. But yes. they're not comfortable. No. Oh, th these are a look. These are not yours. Right? Yeah. They were in, so everybody was wearing these white. Who's everybody? Like on YouTube, on Instagram. Now when I wear them, it's like, womp, 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 womp. They're like so uncomfortable. All very, one color. Very red. Woohoo! Why are they in the bags and you can't see them? Um, because I got these bags when I bought sheets. Okay, these shoes I absolutely love, and they have, these are on Amazon, Okay, but, but see, mom, they have a height. Look how similar they look to these. But they're different height. Now we have decluttered, we're left with this. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna put her everyday most worn shoes right here, because they're easy to access, you can see them, put them on easily. So she's decluttering. Then her other shoes we're gonna store in these bins down here, which are already labeled shoes. We got rid of at least a third, if not half. Also, while we're at it, we might need to do a little purse organization <laughs> as well. This, this looks a, a little crazy. So here is what we have, is our first little mini project. We have our most worn everyday shoes, walking shoes, work shoes here. This is already looking better. Now what we need to do is put these extras in these four bins right here. I have them stacked up like this. One side is up so you can see the front and then the other side is up so you can see the heel. What I don't want is them all stacked in here so they're piled and you can't see everything that you have. At least here you have the full visual. Four. I think I just created my own system. Somehow the clunkers came back because I've never worn them and I spent a lot of money. So that's it for day one. You have a couple homework assignments. Um, I wanna have you do one painting okay. because I think what happens is you get stressed and you wanna shop. So what I wanna do is help channel that energy, the stress into painting because that's therapeutic and it's also free. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for day one. We'll be back in a couple days for part two. Okay, I'm here for day two. And let's just take a moment, look what arrived. I ordered these last night, so you guys need to tell me. Do you think these are cute or hideous? I will say they are so freaking comfortable. And I think they were $29. All right, we are back. Day two, are you excited? I'm so excited. Just don't tell me to throw away my makeup. So I am here today. We have some fun organization projects. First one is kind of 
not really organizing, but I picked you up this new trash can. Ooh. It's a sleeker, slimmer profile. All right, so this is the current trash situation that I think could just look a bit nicer. The trash bag is all sorts of overflowing here. Here's our new trash can situation. I think that looks a lot nicer and sleeker next to this chair. Next project, this one very excited about. We have a very major vitamin situation. I don't know how one person could possibly have need or take this many supplements, but that's neither here nor there. These are my favorite oh. vitamin organizers. Thank goodness for Amazon Prime, I got these literally overnight. These tiered shelves, and they're perfect for displaying your vitamins because you can see all what you have going on. So I got two of them because I know you have a, quite the collection. So this is her current organization going on. Well, I have my hair growth stuff. I have my cholesterol, because I'm working on my cholesterol. I have my anti-aging NMN, so I age backwards. Oh, well, that's fun. Do my you take hair. all of these every day? Uh, I do. I do alternate hair vitamins. I have about five different formulations. I well, think the, the theme that I noticed with you, Mom, when you find something you like, you buy multiples. That is correct. Yeah, usually if I like it, I buy three. Now I've committed to only buying two. This is perfect. Look at this, everybody. All of her everyday vitamins and supplements fit right here on this one shelf. So that's great. So I'm envisioning those to go here. We could also put them there. Let's take a look now at our new and improved supplement vitamin situation, I think. This is nice. Everything is visible. You can grab what you need and it fit everything. Project two, we're keeping it moving. This is a little makeup roundabout organizer I got where I thought we could put your everyday most used makeup, keep it right here so it's easy for you to grab, see. So I had my mom uh, pick out her best of the best favorite makeup. Yeah, you can reconfigure these how you need, but we got to load it up. Why don't we also put your skincare? Oh yeah, that's what I use mainly. So this is really interesting. Despite all the makeup you have, you're able to just pare it down to such a minimal amount. And I also got you this little contraption to hold your beauty blender because I know you just bought those dupes I showed. Mom, can I ask you, uh, what this is? <laughs> what is this? And wait, first of all, there's two. Oh dear. What is that? What in the world? Mom, oh, no. Oh my. It's not a good nose job. I love that not only does she have one, she has two of them. Of course, right? No words. No words. So that stays, everybody, apparently. Well, I could use it as a bag clip. A bag clip. So now let's review our new everyday makeup area. So we have this new organizer where she has her most used, most loved everyday products, easy to see and grab, and we even have room to add more, which I like. That's what we should be doing when you're organizing. Leave room to grow. Her favorite brushes, palettes, all of that and then the rest of her everyday makeup is here and then the vanity i think this area is britney approved although let's just we can double check these drawers are actually organized they meet my standards we have another situation that i wish i could ignore but it's too egregious these cords down here like what are what do these go to they don't none of them are going to anything are we ready for some more organizing? Yes! Next Let's project. Continue. See, that's how cute. It is a purse organizer. Oh gosh. Isn't this nice? I like this color combo. They had different ones, but I thought this is nice and neutral. And look, it even has a little extra pouch, so you can move this. But this is removable, so you can move it from back to back. Oh, this should be fun. What kind of wonders will we find in the bag of Melanie? 
this is what we have and I have to give you credit because it looks like you attempted to sub-organize in Ziploc bags. So there's a Colors thing here where you can hang your keys. Yeah. Actually, life hack tip for the moms out there. Buy one of these bag organizers and save yourself from having to buy a diaper bag. You can put your diapers, wipes, snacks, baby supplies in this, move it from bag to bag, and you don't have to deal with a sometimes bulky, unattractive diaper bag. What's a, a mirror? Whoa, 10 times mirror. Nobody needs to get that <laughs> close, okay? I think they should be outlawed. There is nothing good that comes from looking at your face 10 times magnified, okay? Oh, hot tip from my mom, CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, my mom says, is the best of the best, and she's tried it all, so I'm sure she has five extras, so I can have one to try. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. This is gonna be for all of your makeup, and then this is gonna be for everything else. Oh, okay, I have to say, I'm quite happy with this. Now let's get the moment of truth here. We gotta... Wow. So here what we have going, we have snacks in the back, easy grab items. This pouch here is gonna be for phone, and then this bag is all makeup. So yeah, look how much more organized that looks. We should do Excellent. a before and after here. Wow, so nice. And then you can move that if you're using a different bag. Our last organization project, day two, is this which she has as her chair side organizer. I show this in my bedroom organization video. This can be tucked under your mattress. Now, you're sitting there. I would imagine you need your remote. Oh, we have, oh, this is nice. Oh, we have, um, what do we call these? Affirmations. Do nothing. Do nothing? When you don't know what to do, you do, do nothing. nothing. Oh, yeah, you do tell me that a lot. Eye for an eye makes that's both blind. What my my main affirmation I use is just do your best. Oh, mom. <laughs> is this a uh, bathtub? I think all bathtubs need to be a step in bathtub. And then on the back we have the jitterbug phone. <laughs> I want that. Now, hot tip dealing with cards and sentimental items, we can take a picture of it, save it in our phone and then we can recycle because I don't think you need to keep every card that you get. Wow, look how nice and organized this is now. Okay, so here is our new and improved chair side organization with this guy. So we have our necessities, easy access right here on her chair. So our very last thing I'm just not satisfied with, we need to do a little bit more decluttering here and then this area has become overdone, which can we just take a moment? The irony, what we have here, okay? 30 days to a clutter-free life, the overspent American, unstuffed, living well, spending zero. Maybe we need to uh, read, it. read these. <laughs> Let's pick one of these and put them here. And so you'll have it to read. We're just gonna remove any last clutter and trash and then I think we're good here. Okay, so we are done in here for round two. So let's do a little recap of what we did. We did our purse organization here, our shoe organization. We redid the rest of the shoes. Over here we created a new, more functional, everyday makeup space with this organizer turnstile. So we have everything easy to access right in front of the vanity area. We have our new chair side organizer. We went through and decluttered some of the books, cleaned that area up, also decluttered the makeup that was overflowing. And last but not least, we have our vitamin supplement organizers. Before, I think it was good, and we just went through and we added some finishing touches. As I said before, organizing is not something you do one time. You have to continually evaluate your systems, see what's working, see what's not, See what needs to be added. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video. Do you want to see me continue the series and maybe do her desk area next? So I okay, so I think for our next project, we need to do a massive declutter and reorganization of your desk area. Everyone give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see me do this 
It's a little bit of a situation. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I have a $500 Amazon gift card giveaway that is currently active. You just have to be subscribed to my channel and following me on Instagram at Vassar Beauty and all the other details I will put in the description box along with all the other information and links to things shown in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!